Everything we do requires movement and that means muscle contraction. Motor impairment is a serious constellation of medical symptoms and signs. It's a loss or a reduction in movement or muscle control. And motor impairment is a final common event in many diseases and disorders. These include things like stroke, multiple sclerosis, spinal injury. It's a major health problem and it's growing as it's common as we age. Minor impairment includes inability to get force from your muscles or to sustain muscle force. That's something like paralysis or weakness and fatigue. It also includes having a limited range of movement at a joint and that's something like a contracture or a spastic uh, joint. In addition, there can be motor impairments due to impaired sensation, and that may be proprioceptive sensation, and ultimately, impaired sensation can lead to things such as falling uh, in ordinary folk and more so as we age. We're focused on some of these core motor impairments. Motor impairment has a surprisingly high prevalence. One in three elderly people will fall each year and one in six Australians is going to have a stroke and about half of them will end up with a contracture or some spasticity. There's an epidemiological storm here, highly prevalent conditions such as stroke, each of them having a high uh, incidence of motor impairments. Importantly, it's notable that the motor impairments are commonly prolonged. With colleagues at Neura, uh, Stephen Lord, Janet Taylor and Rob Herbert, we're focusing on some everyday activities such as standing, grasping uh, and balancing. And we're looking at the mechanisms which underlie these motor performances and how they can become deranged or abnormal. And finally, there's an element of our work where we're conducting randomised control trials in which we're looking at some interventions to hopefully minimise motor impairment and to give us some serious clues as to what the physiology is that underlies this.